Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to partition your C drive on your Windows computer without the need to reformat the whole drive. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. And the reason I'm making this video, I've made tutorials about creating partitions before, but I think some of you guys might be looking for partitioning a drive without formatting the whole Windows drive, so there might be a little misunderstanding. So for those people searching specifically how to partition your main hard drive without having to reformat everything, that is going to be covered in this tutorial. But basically we're just going to be creating a new partition, so that's basically the synopsis of this tutorial. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So open up the search menu, type in disk management, Best match should come back with Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to right click on the C drive or whatever drive you want as long as there's space available to be allocated. And you want to select where it says Shrink Volume. And now at this point in megabytes, enter in however much space you want to create for the new partition here. I'm going to just set it to 1 gigabyte or 1024 megabytes. And I'm going to select Shrink. And once that's done, it's unallocated space. So if you want to give it a file system and allow it to be recognized by Windows, you can right click on it and select a new simple volume. Select Next. Select Next again. You can assign any drive loader that is not currently in use. And then you can select Next. You can name this whatever you want. So volume label is basically the name of the hard drive. And the file system type, if you want to change it, you can. NTFS is usually sufficient and then perform a quick format. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's probably good if you want it to be recognized. If you're planning on using it, select Next and then Finish. And there you go, guys, simple as that. You can see it now appears in File Explorer. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do a pause, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.